Jackie Ina and thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I'm so excited to officially be announcing my first collab for the year of 2017. 2016 brought on some amazing opportunities but this one is near and dear to me because I get to support people that I love in the process. My cousins, my family actually started this line of head wraps and chokers and the company is called Ashodar, and you guys have seen me rock their stuff all the time. First time I ever showed their stuff was in my bomb makeup challenge, and you guys went cray cray. Randomly, we were just like talking one day, and I was just like, yo, like how dope would it be for me to have my own collection? My hair is always wrapped. In between wigs, my hair is, I'm always wearing head wraps. And if you guys shop on Ashodar, then you guys know they have like head wrap and choker combos. Like that's kind of like their signature. So we just thought, why not? I wanted to create something that is one of my favorite and staple accessories in one of my favorite and staple colors. I feel like blush pink is the perfect neutral and everybody can wear it. It looks good on pretty much everyone. And like I said, I'm really into the neutral look because you can dress them up in so many different ways. But finding this particular, this particular fabric, I don't think you guys understand, was so difficult to come across. What really excites me about this collection, one, it's Nigerian owned, it's African owned, it is black owned, it is made here in the USA. So you are supporting a bunch of different economies, causes, and um, just collectively and consciously giving that support back to my community, our community. By the way, the choker and the head wrap, are sold separately and even if you decide to get one piece over the other it would just mean a lot to me knowing that you got to order something and support not only me but also supporting a growing small business that I absolutely believe in and I've been supporting since day one even if I wasn't related to them I would still be rocking this because I mean let's let's be real the official launch date of my collection it's not out yet currently we are doing the chokers on pre-sale so you can go and sign up for them now on ashadara.com but the head wraps and chokers which are sold separately by the way completely you can buy one and the other not necessarily both if you want to buy both i'm not gonna judge you they officially launch on january 31st both pieces are from my signature blush collection the material is authentic Bazin Rich, Bazin Rich. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And one thing that I also did want to mention, which I thought was really special, is the fabric is so unique and there's so many different cuts of the fabric that no two pieces are alike. And I don't know, that just makes me feel really like, ooh, exclusive girl. Mm -hmm. I also wanted something that didn't look too formal. Like I could dress it up and also dress it down. I can wear this with a jean jacket and a bodycon dress. And then I can also wear this with a full on gown or, you know, there's just so many different ways to dress it up. I don't really have anything else to say except I really hope you guys enjoy wearing this and rocking these pieces just as much as I have creating them. And January 31st, ashadar.com. Cop that, cop that, cop that. Today's video, on today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get this look that goes with the head wrap and choker combo. I'm just having fun and just kind of wanted to play up the colors. And I'm also gonna show you how I tied my head wrap. I did it a little bit differently than I did last time. I did something with Ashadar in a video. So anyway, without further ado, now that I'm done rambling, let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off with a little bit of translucent powder in my shiny satellite zone. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Cushion Stick. It's not a cushion foundation. This is where I got a little confused. It's a cushion stick where you twist it up and the product just twists from above. And this is supposed to be the applicator. You're supposed to like be able to just dab and go all in one. Not too sure how I'm feeling about this. I feel like, look at look at, look at this mosaic. Look at this work of art masterpiece mosaic I'm making. Yeah, I'll play around with that another day. So I'm gonna take my NYX brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. If I need more coverage, I'll add more coverage. First immediate thoughts, this foundation is beautiful. This is a really nice finish. It almost kind of dried down like a cream to powder. And as you can see, the match is Flawless girl, look at that, look at that, look at that. Right now I've really been feeling the Smashbox 24 Hour Studio Skin Concealer. It has the perfect, 
girl, perfect amount of coverage. Hit that satellite dish and the bridge of the nose. This next makeup line I stumbled across on Instagram. It's called Morena Bote. It is supposed to be a makeup line specific to women of color. I ordered a bunch of foundations. They also have powders, they have lashes. So I put in a quite, quite a pretty big order of like a couple shades that I can play around with. I'm not too confident about the face shade because I feel like it may be a little too red. So instead, I did get a dark, the darkest color. So um, this is the darkest shade that they carry in this cream foundation. I'm gonna be using that again as a contour. Taking one of these dual fiber brushes from Makeup Addiction. I didn't realize it. Makeup Addiction hooked me the hell up. They sent me all these brushes. I mean, I knew they had brushes, but I didn't know they had brushes, girl. This is a really great color. I just feel like the face color that I chose, um, it seems like everything runs a little bit more red cool. And I'm golden, so I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try on the face shade on, on an off day, okay, off duty day. Wow, it looks like I've already put powder on top of it and everything else is just blending so beautifully. I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup powder and set everything under eye. I like this sponge. I've been using this Veramona sponge. I think it's really great for powder, especially for cutting that under this, this whole situation right here. I like this sponge. Yo, I'm feeling nice and matte. I'm loving this base. This is the Makeup Addiction Vintage Palette. I have been just drooling over these products from afar for a long, long, long time. I've actually used some of them in my videos, but look at this, and I'm not even kidding, like one swipe, one swipe. I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take this color here. This is a nice, I don't know why this looks like mustard yellowish green to me, and I'm not seeing anything. This looks just like my skin. <laughs> But that's okay, this will make a great transition color. I'm with it if you with it, hey! Whenever I wear this choker and this head wrap, I always end up doing rose gold, and obviously I can come up with like 50 million different combinations of how to wear rose gold and similar colors, but I just wanna do something different for this look. Then the darker brown, I'm going to blend into the more immediate part of my crease. Now I'm using the same brush that we used in the crease area. I'm gonna take a brush that is shaped like this, that's very flat, synthetic, and very stiff. And I'm going back in with concealer again, and I'm just basically carving out that shape so that we get a nice, sharp line there. This color right here is nice and sparkly. I'm gonna take that and put that on my outer V area, kind of acting as a crease color because it's so dark. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Wow, that is gorgeous. Nice and sparkly and shimmery. This is a really pretty like multi-dimensional looking dark purple. I love this color. Then let's take mm, this color, this pinky shade. And I'm gonna apply that on the center of my lid. Oh wow, it actually looks more red now that I put it on, but still really pretty. For an even sharper look, I'm gonna take the classic shader because as you can see, it's kind of flat. It's that flat pointed synthetic brush that I like doing when I need a nice sharp line. Then I'm gonna take this olive copper color, so beautiful. And that is going up in here, up in here, up in here. I'm also gonna drag it across right at the top area so that it kind of crosses over where we applied the red pink shadow. It's been a long time. We shouldn't have left you. I haven't worn liquid liner in a long time, at least not black liquid liner. So I'm gonna take my grandiose liner from Lancome. I have to shake her up though. Wake, wake her up a little bit. And I'm not gonna do this on camera because you know how it is just because the positioning of the camera, but I'm gonna take the Nayona Lash from Lena Lashes and that is the style we'll be wearing for today's look. I wanged it out, girl. I made it. Thicker than normal on purpose. I don't know what I'm going through today. I'm just feeling some type of way. I want this look to just look and feel like royalty and liquid eyeliner does that to me. And while my lash glue dries, I'm gonna take that dark burgundy color again. It looks so pretty on camera, look at that. And I'm going to smudge that under my eyes. Very carefully though, because this color is very dwarf. 
And I'm gonna keep that color on the outside, the outer area. Let's buff it out with that greenish mustard color again, just to kind of soften it up a little. Girl, these brows need saving, girl. Help me, Lord. Lately, I've been using the Brow Wiz again from Anastasia. I'm gonna use granite, granite or granite? The world may never know. And dark brown, granite and dark brown. So Dark Brown decided to clock out before the end of her shift and I ran out. So instead, I'm going to fill in my brows with my Goof Proof Brow. But I'm not complaining because obviously I love Goof Proof Brow. I use it all the time. The color that I'm using is number four. When I tell you this is my favorite face powder right now, I really mean it is my favorite face powder. It is the Iman Luxury Press Powder. I use the color Earth Medium. Guess this is like a powder foundation, but it just adds a nice, beautiful buttery brown just like a top coat for your foundation you know stamp it in lock it in place I feel like I never use this in my tutorials but I actually use this all the time it is the Becca multitasking perfecting powder in the color Z bronze Another thing that I picked up from the Marina Bote Boots, Bote, I don't really know, it's kind of sketchy territory for me with the language thing. I picked up some of their blushes because they looked really rich and really beautiful. The color that I'm gonna be using is number three, and this is the color Terra Rouge. This one's a really nice terracotta color, like a pinky terracotta. It's really, really gorgeous. I'm gonna have to use this as my, this just became my new like everyday blush. This is a really beautiful color. Then I'm gonna take my So Icy Illuminator from Beauty Bakery. This is the Frosted Illuminator. It's really pink and really icy. So I'm not gonna go in, 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 per se. I'ma build it up, okay? I'ma build it up. I love Beauty Bakery. I love the owner. She's so sweet. I got to meet her. She took me out to San Diego and just had dinner and we just chatted and I just, ooh. Gosh, that's beautiful. Wow. Oh, hell no, have I really been? Whoa. I will tell you one thing, these apply way better than they swatch. Some things swatch like, hmm, I'm a little worried, but putting this on, wow, that is beautiful. Oh my God, And on the seventh day, he said, let there be light, girl. That is so pretty, wow. It doesn't highlight texture or anything. Wow, you guys, look how pretty that is. It actually looks more champagne when you put it on, but it's still really pretty. I was, I was gonna skip out on a highlighter for this look because I wanted it to look all matte, but I'm glad I didn't. Mm-hmm, can't tell me nothing. And then watch with the setting spray. Bye. So the last step is the lips. We're gonna close it out by using a brand that I've never featured on my channel before. They are Nigerian based, and I believe they're Nigerian owned. I know for sure they're in Nigeria, but I'm not sure if they're Nigerian owned. Could be wrong. Please spell check me on this one. But just by the name, I kind of feel like they may be. They're called Taos Cosmetics. Shout out to my girl at Beauty Rev Inchi, girl, for getting these to me. I really like this formula. You know the liquid lipsticks from Tarte? The um, matte lip creams or whatever they're called. They're like really, really buttery, really, really creamy, but they don't dry down. So this kind of is that exact same formula when you swatch it, but they actually do dry down. This is Vixen from Kylie, but you can just use any like generic. I mean, you can find a deep burgundy anywhere. And I'm just lining my lips. I love how hydrating and soft these feel. They are so buttery and just soft. Look at how gorgeous this color is. It's so rich and pretty. I kind of like the way they smell too. So that wraps up the makeup portion of today's look. I'm gonna go ahead and tie my head wrap. And I've already showed you guys how I've done this, but I'll go ahead and show you again. Why not? Why not?
today's video. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out if you have not already. I would love to see you on the next video. Be sure to check out the link in the description box for the Ashadar launch January 31st. And check out some previous videos that you might enjoy. Stick around, don't be shy. I'll be here all night. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.